guys, just real quick, I'm so sorry about the problems with the audio. Uh, it appears that the battery in my camera was low, so it does have some distortion. I do apologize. Well, hi there, hey there, hello there, guys. It is Kimberly, also known as Wild Indica. Thanks so much for stopping in and checking on me today. I am taking part in a pizza collaboration with some fellow YouTubers, so I will go ahead and put their links down below so you guys can check them out as well. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I've been keto for over a year. I've lost a total of 75 pounds. Eating keto, low carb, high fat, that kind of a thing. So that's a little bit about my story. So if you are new here, I would love it if you subscribe. Also, click that bell notification down below so you're alerted when I post up new videos. So let's go ahead and get started with this, guys. And usually I'm, I do kind of a stricter keto, but we're not going to do that today. Because uh, I understand that not everybody has the time for it. And that's fine. I mean, you know, you do you. I'm not going to tell you what you can and what you can't do. But I know that we're going to have a lot of pizzas with fathead dough and things like that. So I thought that I would uh, do some on low-carb wraps. And I happened to just find these today. And it actually says that these are good for thin crust pizzas. So I'm pretty excited about it. There is um, four net carbs in one. So this is what I'm going to be using to make my pizza out of. And I'm going to make my husband's first because he wanted, he was the one that said, oh, I want to do those wraps. I said, okay, well, we'll do it. So let me go ahead and get one of these. And like I said, these are not, if you're strict keto, these do have some wheat in those. So even with my autoimmune disease, guys, these are not going to be the best for that. But this is the wrap for carbs. So I do have a pizza pan sitting over to the side that I have some parchment paper on. So I have just went ahead and stuck that like so. And I don't think that I need to show you guys me assembling everything for you to know. Um... But I'll just go over what I have really quick. And I've already got all my ingredients here on a plate. So I do have banana peppers, black olives, green olives, mushrooms, pepperoni, and shredded cheese. So that's what I'm going to be putting on it with some Parmesan cheese. So I know this is going to be really quick, but I'll show you guys what it looks like in just a second. Okay, guys. So sorry. The look has changed a little bit. Um... <laughs> My battery actually went dead, so I had to go and put uh, put it on the charge so I could finish out my video. But I went ahead and put my pizza into the oven. Like I said, this is dirty keto. Um, this is not something that you'll have if you're strict, but it is something if you need it in a pinch. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my pizza now that it's done. I put it in the oven for 300, at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. You can put it on broil if you like, but let me go ahead and show you guys. Okay, so here is the finished product. Uh, it did crisp up pretty, I mean, it's not flimsy. Um, I'm probably going to fold it over, though, and do it, like, just eat it that way instead of trying to do it this way. But that is my pizza, and I am going to eat this for dinner. I am OMAD, so I did go ahead and make me a side salad with just lettuce, cucumber, tomato, and ranch dressing. And this is going to complete it for me today guys but I'm glad that you stopped in and checked in on me with this pizza collab sorry that I don't have anything big and elaborate for you guys but I know when I'm on the go easy simple done and that's what I'm doing so I will see you guys later take care